Hey guys, Sundar from C4E Tech and in this video, let's take a look at the top 5 free password managers for your Android device. Over the last few weeks, I went through a lot of free password managers and these 5 seem to be the best out there. So without any further ado, let's get started. First up, we have Password Manager. Talking about the pros of this app, you can store login information for websites you have registered on, login information of your PC and even credit card details. The app itself is secured by a pin code lock and the database is secured through 256-bit AES encryption which is by far the best encryption a database could get. Apart from these, it gives you an option to upload the database onto a cloud service of your choice provided you have the cloud app on your device like Dropbox, Google Drive and so on. You could also just store it on your internal storage or use any other basic sharing options. Now coming to the cons, there is no password generator, no autofill, no integrated browser, nor is there an integration option for other browsers. There is no companion app for your PC. There are no sync options either. All you can do is manually upload the database to the cloud at regular intervals and retrieve it back when needed. But one could argue that the lack of these options make for additional security. It's actually not a very popular app and it doesn't support the best user interface either, but it somehow gets the job done. Now moving on, we get to Norton Identity Safe Password Manager. It works a little different from other password managers. When you visit a website for the first time, Norton Identity Safe stores your username and password and provides the same automatically the next time when you visit the same website. Your login credentials will be safely stored in its own cloud storage, which Norton calls as the online vault. It can save your usernames, passwords and other sensitive information like credit card details, frequent flyer number and syncs them across your devices. And by devices, I mean Android, iOS and basically any desktop OS with a browser. The user interface looks pretty neat. And there is an integrated web browser as well, where autofill works flawlessly. It also works pretty good on the other browsers like Firefox and Chrome through the Norton toolbar on your PC. It even blocks malicious sites and prevents phishing attacks from capturing your keystrokes. Another handy feature is that it has got a password generator. Now the primary con is, if you're logged into your vault, it requires you to close the vault from within the app. Pressing or tapping the home button doesn't help because when you relaunch the app, it takes you right into the vault without the need of password or pin. So make sure you close the vault before coming out of the app. The third app on the list is Password Safe. Unlike in Norton Identity Safe, you can store the database in the cloud storage of your choice in Password Safe. Something unique in Password Safe app is that you can create and access multiple databases and each one of them is secured by a password. This comes in handy when there are multiple users. To get started, you first need to create a database file that is a .psafe3 file and once you are done with it, you can start adding entries to the database. The user interface looks decent and Password Safe is available for Android, iOS, PC and Mac and unlike Norton, Password Safe provides software exclusively for each platform rather than maintaining the database in a website. There's also this neat feature that lets you create conditions for a password. Say you set the number of lowercase characters to be a minimum of 3 and the number of uppercase characters to be a minimum of 1. The app can generate a password conforming to these conditions. This is called as a password policy. The app lets you create multiple password policies and you can use different policies for different entries. It also lets you set the expiration period for the passwords and it will notify you when a password is about to expire. For added security, the clipboard is cleared every time you close the app. Talking about cons, there aren't many actually. By default, Password Safe lets you create, store and access databases only from the internal storage. In order to upload them to cloud storage and sync them, you need to install a companion app called Password Safe Sync. Now I wouldn't consider that much of a con, just make sure you install both the apps together. Next up, we have RoboForm. You can create and save login credentials, nodes in its own cloud service called RoboForm Everywhere. It also includes a password generator in a similar fashion as password safe does. That is, you can decide whether or not to include uppercase characters, lowercase characters, special characters and numbers. It can generate passwords up to 512 characters in length. Yes, that's 512. RoboForm has a really good user interface. It opens with an integrated browser. And one domain where RoboForm is superior to the previously mentioned password managers is that it also integrates with Chrome, Dolphin and Mozilla Firefox. What this means to you is that you can use any of those browsers and RoboForm autofills the login credentials and other web forms for you. And unlike password safe, you can import your databases from other password managers like LastPass, Dashlane, etc. if you ever need to. It also syncs automatically with your other devices. The database and the app are secured by a password. 
You also get an option to choose the level of security of the database when stored on the internal storage. You can also set parameters such as log off time and sync reminder. RoboForm also fills in credentials in external applications. You need to manually enable this feature by going into Settings, Accessibility, and right there, enable it. RoboForm for PC has been a solid and reliable password manager for a very long time and the Android version keeps the legacy alive and well. The slick user interface along with seamless integration with other apps and browsers makes this stand out from the rest. Next up, we have KeyPass to Android, the best free password manager for Android in my opinion. So what do you think makes this special? First off, it's open source, so there's no way your credentials go unprotected due to developing glitches. An incredible thing to know about KeePass is that it's compatible on a wide variety of platforms. Apart from Android, iOS and Windows, it's available on Linux, Mac, Chromebook, Blackberry, Palm OS and even the age-old J2 ME phones. It provides various storage options, including cloud services such as Dropbox, Google Drive and OneDrive. It also supports conventional ways of storage through protocols such as HTTP, FTP and SFTP. The database uses 256-bit AES algorithm for encryption. It can be protected by a password or a key file. So what's a key file? A key file is basically a file with a password which is needed to unlock the database. There are a few more options for unlocking such as OTP, challenge response, etc. which makes it incredibly difficult to break into the database. Once unlocked, you can view the list of entries there. You also have an option to group a number of entries as folders. And just like password safe and RoboForm, you can also set conditions for generating a corresponding password. The number of characters is limited to 16 though. Additionally, you can attach files and have custom fields. Password expiry date can be set as well. KeyPass to Android also has its own keyboard, which doesn't expose your keystrokes under any circumstances. KeyPass to Android Offline is another app, which is basically the offline version of the app, which you can use if you don't want to sync between devices or if you don't want to upload your database to the cloud. So that's it for this video. And in case you've been wondering what I have on the Note 5, well, this is a skin from Slick Wraps. Slick Wraps have a huge collection of skins for a lot of popular devices. If you like what you see and want to check them out, I'll leave a link to Slick Wraps in the description. So that's it for now. Hope you liked the list. And if you did, give this video a thumbs up. If you use a different password manager that you feel should have been on this list, let me know in the comments below. I'll make sure I check that out. Do let me know if you have any constructive criticism and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Sundar from C4E Tech, leaving for the moment. Have a great day.